Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Martinez, CEO of Website in 5 Days. And today, in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit more serious than normal. I'm going to be talking about gender and racial inequality in technology. Now, first, let me issue a statement before I get into today's video. This is not a political statement. Again, I am not making any kind of political statement whatsoever. The purpose of this is literally to just get you guys to think about something new. So all of you political fanatics out there, just relax, take a chill. So with that being said, I recently read an article that's, uh, that said that just 11% of executives in technology are made up of women, and comparing that to 16% in all other business sectors, which is still pretty low. Um, and while I was not able to find a concrete percentage of people of color in executive positions in technology, the numbers are unanimous, unanimously low, especially among African Americans and Hispanics. So why do I bring this up? Not simply because uh, I'm an American of Hispanic and Asian descent uh, and I want to hate on the white man. I 100% believe that the U.S. is still the land of unlimited opportunity no matter what color you, uh, of skin you have. The reason I bring this up is because I believe that a person's perception of the world is a byproduct of their experiences. So with that being said, it is not a stretch to say that people of color and women have at one time or another experienced situations that are different than your typical white males. Therefore, these unique experiences that minorities experience lead them to see the world a little differently. And while some people might see that as a crutch, I see it as an opportunity. And when it comes to technology, different perspectives and different viewpoints are what birth innovation. I mean, look at these people who have shaped the world that we live in today. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, all people who had different perspectives and viewpoints, and they use that to literally change the world for me and you. So what if I told you that there were thousands, if not millions of other perspectives out there who also had the power to make our world better, brighter, and frankly, a lot more fun? I believe that that is the power that is sitting in front of us right now and why I think that by some, somehow, some way, opening the door for more women and minorities into the world of technology will spark new innovation that will make the next 20 years even more exciting than the past 100. Just something to think about, guys.